Tongwan City, located at the southern edge of the Maowusu Sands of the Ordos Desert, is the largest urban center of the Southern Huns ever discovered, and the only capital city built by Southern Huns in China. It served as the capital of the Southern Hunla Dusha dynasty from 418 to 431 CE. During the Sixteen Kingdoms period, which lasted from 304 CE to 439 CE, the Southern Huns established several dynasties in the region surrounding the Yellow River in northern China. The last of these dynasties was Du Xia, founded by her Lian Bobo. However, their rule came to an end in 431 CE when the Dusha dynasty was conquered by the Northern Wei dynasty. After this, the Southern Huns effectively stopped playing a major role in Chinese history and assimilated into the Xianbei and Han ethnic groups. The Dusha dynasty was founded in 407 CE by her Lian Bobo, who led a rebellion against the later Qin dynasty and proclaimed himself emperor. He then went on to conquer a large territory in northern China and established his capital at Tongwan City, which he envisioned as a home for his thousands of nomadic Hun people. Her Lian Bobo, the last Hun emperor in Chinese history, passed away in 425 CE. At the time, he was engaged in battles in northern China. The western branches of the Huns were getting ready to march into Europe. In 434 CE, nine years after her Lian Bobo's death, Attila the Hun began his incursions into Europe and eventually played a significant role in shaping European history for centuries to come. The construction of the impregnable Tongwan city began in 413 CE. Her Lian Bobo commissioned his general, Qigong Ali, as the chief architect of the capital, which he named Tongwan. In Chinese, Tong means unite, while Wan means 10,000. The name Tongwan City reflected her Lian Bobo's ambition to unite China and become the lord of 10,000 states. Qigong drafted 100,000 people to build the citadel and often tested the walls during its construction. If an iron wedge could be inserted even one inch deep into the wall, the workmen in charge of that section would be executed and their bodies stuffed into the wall. After five years of strenuous labor and the sacrifice of numerous workers' lives, Tongwan City was completed in 418 CE. Tongwan City is also known as the White City because of its white walls. The city walls were constructed in layers by ramming a mix of cohesive white clay and sand bound together with glutinous rice gruel and a higher proportion of lime. This type of rammed earth construction has proven to be almost as strong and resistant to erosion as stone masonry. Chinese archaeologists have discovered that Tongwan City was built on an east-west axis and was composed of an outer city, an east city, and a west city which served as the imperial palace of Herlian Bobo. The outer city was inhabited by the nomadic Huns, while the east city housed government offices and the homes of the nobility. The white earthen ruins that can be seen today are remnants of the walls and foundation of palaces in the west city. The most iconic feature of Tongwan City is the 87-foot-tall earthen remains of the southwest turret of the West City. A 3D rendering of the turret shows how it would have looked in 418 CE. The West City had a perimeter of 1.5 miles and contained Heli and Bobo's Yongan Palace, meaning eternal peace, as well as other buildings such as the Crown Prince's Palace, an ancestral temple, a storehouse, stables, camping grounds, and an imperial garden. This is a 3D rendering of the Yongan Tower. The white terrace visible from the air is the foundation of the magnificent tower, which was likely the tallest building in the entire city. From here, Heli and Bobo could enjoy a commanding view of his capital. Historical records suggest that by 431 CE, Tongwan City and its surrounding area supported a population of over 40,000 Han nomads and Han farmers. However, by 984 CE, the city had been abandoned and would later become buried under shifting sands. 320 miles south of Tongwan City lies the Xian Steel Forest Museum. Inside the museum, there is a stone horse that stands proudly. This horse, known as the Daxia Horse, is engraved with the Chinese character for the sixth year of the Jin Xing reign of Daxia, indicating that it was created in 424 CE. In the year 417 CE, 
Her Lian Bo Bo captured Chang'an, the present-day Xian, and appointed his son, Her Lian Gue, as viceroy in charge of the city. In May 424 CE, Her Lian Gue ordered a stone horse to be sculpted and placed in front of Chang Lur Palace, where he was stationed. The horse remained in its original place for centuries, even as dynasties changed, until it was moved to Xian Steel Forest Museum in 1954. This Dashia horse is now the only surviving stone sculpture from the short-lived Han Dashia dynasty that can be found in China. Although the southern Huns may have disappeared as a people, Tongwan City, which the Huns built in five years, was seen as an important political, economic, and military center in the next five centuries. Today, its ruins still stand in the desert as a testament to the proud history of the Huns.